Last year at this time, it was really, really quiet. It was. We were, we were really struggling. Um, we were having a hard time getting enough rooms to keep our housekeepers busy, to keep people employed. This year, our housekeepers are tired at this point. When it comes to the oil industry, Alberta has seen its share of ups and downs. But tomorrow, all eyes there will be on Vienna. Oil producing countries will be talking about how to keep oil prices up. A welcome conversation for a province that has been down in the dumps. A recovery has been underway, though. Alberta now leads the country in GDP growth. Oil drilling has ticked up and fewer people are out of work. And at the heart of all of this is development of the Duvernay. It's a massive piece of land covering about a fifth of the province. And underground, they figure around 3.4 billion barrels of crude and 6.3 billion barrels of what are called natural gas liquids. And at the heart of all that, Rocky Mountain House, a place that's gone from boom to bust to boom again. So we sent our Aaron Collins to see for himself how Duvernay has helped the town make a comeback. The traffic is back in Rocky Mountain House. In late spring, the campground started getting packed with uh, oil and gas workers, and then the trucks started coming in. And end of summer, it's been filled with trucks. So we're going to go head this way now, which is on the border of the town and county where, okay. the, where the trucks come in. When people are talking about the economy in Alberta right now, you're, you're hearing, you know, about the down times, but it seems like the down times are over. Is the boom back here? Definitely when you're driving across Highway 11, which is the major corridor in central Alberta to link them out in the West Country, you're seeing these massive trucks. The amount of equipment going on Highway 11, it's, it's hard when you're trying to drive behind all these <laughs> equipment. Like the roads here, hotels and restaurants are jammed again. Up. And we're just in a, in, in a lucky area because right. of the Duvernay. That, uh, yes, absolutely. Thank you. Uh, no, I'm great. Thanks so much. Do you think that this is the sign of things to come for the rest of the province? I mean, is this I sure the would like to keep my fingers crossed that yeah. it is. Yeah. I mean, the, the only problem is with this industry, it, you know, it's so unpredictable. You just keep your fingers crossed that it lasts as long as it can. All that activity has local companies scrambling to hire again. So when did things turn the corner? Uh, we noticed things start to pick up uh, on the oil field side of things more this spring. Um, now we're flat out, things are flying. And this has to do with uh, people interested in that Duvernay play? Yeah, Duvernay play has been huge for us. It's been kind of the focal point for us as a business um, to get through it. Um, and keep our people going. Well, you mentioned people, you know, you're hiring again. Absolutely. That's all welcome news for those who are itching to get back to work. Are you working seven days a week? Yep. That's the Alberta way, hey? Yep. Do what you gotta do. Pay the bills. So, were you working seven days a week two years ago? No. I was two, sometimes three, possibly four. It would basically depending on the weather. Sounds like you're working twice as much these days than you were a couple years ago. Oh yeah, yeah. Seven days a week, 10 to 12 hours a day. Wow, what are you gonna do with all that money? Buy a house. <laughs> with oil flirting with $60 a barrel, the hope is that the days of just scraping by could soon be over here. Aaron Collins, CBC News, Rocky Mountain House, Alberta.